Repurposing your content can be an incredibly powerful marketing strategy, but it can also suck down a ton of time and energy and it doesn't always do what you want it to do if you do it, don't do it right. So today, what we're going to talk about is what do we really mean by repurposing your content? What does it take to do that? And what is the impact that you can have when you repurpose your content? I'm really excited to talk about this because you can have a very big impact on your business when you repurpose your content effectively. So let's get into this. Before I go any further, I want to be clear about what I mean by content, because there's a certain type of content that you need in order to repurpose. What we're talking about is core long form content. So a blog post or a long video or a podcast are all examples of long form content that you can then repurpose. So it's big enough that you can pull out key elements that you can then post elsewhere, like on social media, or you can write about it in a different way and send it to social media or send it to email. That's the big picture of what we mean by repurposing. And to be clear, you need a large piece of core content that you will be repurposing in order to make this work. So if that, and, and in fact, let me give you an example. <laughs> that I really enjoy for this. So I love leftovers, right? Um, I don't know. Some people do. Some people don't like leftovers. I'm a big fan. And the other night we had a pork roast. And so last night we took part of that pork roast and we chopped it all up. We added some tortillas and some cheese and we had pork quesadillas. That would be an example of repurposing the pork roast. It's exactly what we're talking about when it comes to repurposing our content. Okay. So I said that you would have an impact because you would do this, that repurposing your content would create an impact in your marketing. And what do I mean by impact? Well, when it comes to impact, there are three different realms that you can impact when you do your repurposing. So the three realms that I'm talking about are your messaging, your audience, and your business. So you can impact your messaging, your audience, and your business. And I wanna get into each one because they ultimately build to a very important point. So when you repurpose your content, you are impacting your messaging. And this means, to be clear, you've got this, let's, let's go with blog post, okay? You've written a blog post and now you're going to repurpose it across your social media. You're going to repurpose it in email. So you've created some cohesive messaging across all of these venues. When all these channels, when somebody finds you on Facebook or on LinkedIn or on your website, they're finding similar content, not the same, similar content content. And when that's the case, they're hearing the same messaging from you in every single channel. So there's cohesion. You've actually tightened up your brand and your messaging by repurposing. On top of that, you make it easier and simpler for you to be creating content across all of these venues if you do it right. So it's easy for repurposing and marketing as a whole to take over our lives. And that's very much not the intention here. And that's where effective repurposing can come in because it's about doing more with less. One of the things that I hear, I heard it today from somebody, I feel like I'm always having to create new content. And that new content is big and it's heavy and it's hard to do. And as soon as you're done, all you're doing is doing it again. And that's one of the things that that can really get in the way of any of us marketing ourselves is this feeling that we have to really put so much energy and effort in over and over. And the whole idea with repurposing is to reduce the energy output, reduce the time output, and yet be in more places. And so you're looking from the impact on your messaging and your marketing to cohesion, and then you're looking at ease. You're looking at less time, less effort, and simplicity while benefiting your brand. It's very, very powerful. So, so the first thing we're talking about here is your messaging, right? There are two more realms that repurposing can impact, and that is your audience and your business. And I wanna get into this, but first, I realize I've neglected to introduce myself if we haven't met before. My name is Susan Chikowski and I do marketing and coaching. I help introverted business owners thrive in an extroverted marketing world. And this idea of repurposing your content to reduce your effort but increase your impact is part of what can really work for introverts or honestly for anybody who feels like marketing just takes too much effort because this is a low effort act that can help you actually have the bigger impact. So we talked about your messaging. Let's talk about your audience. 
how does repurposing impact your audience? The problem with something like blogging, so blogging is a powerful, I honestly believe everyone should do it, but certainly if it makes sense for your business and your blogging on your website, which is where it belongs, who's going to find it? right? Nobody's out there. I'm sorry. Nobody's out there looking for your website. Nobody's looking at your website, waiting for your next blog. You have to plunk it in front of them in the right place where they're going to be able to read it. So you're serving your audience by helping them find the content that you published for them on your website. So you post it on Facebook so that they can come back and find you on your website and read your blog. And so that means, first of all, they're more likely to find you when you repurpose your content. Second of all, they're then more likely to consume your content, which means that they're going to be impacted by your message and actually learn from you and maybe change something they're doing based on what you've shared. So yes, your your repurposing is all about your messaging and getting your marketing message out there so that you can impact your audience in a positive way. And this can be a really wonderful impact for your business. So, you know, you've got your audience consuming your content because you've put it in front of them. They've followed it. They've hit your website. They've read your blog or they've hit your video and watched that. And so they've learned more about what you do, your expertise. You've helped them a little bit, which means you've built trust, which means that you've encouraged them to come back for more. You've told them, you've showed them that what you do impact can help them and that, that you understand them and that you can serve them so that they come back for more. So it impacts your messaging. It impacts your audience, which is honestly one of the most powerful things. And that will impact your business. And here's how. Let's say this person that we're talking about sees your post on LinkedIn or on Facebook or on Instagram, follows it back to your blog, gets some help, does that again, does that again. And on your website, let's say you have a lead magnet or you have your services listed. And so they look at your services that you offer. Now they know more about you. They read some other blogs. They download your lead magnet and now they're on your email so that you can foster a relationship with them. I get that all of these are just possibilities and ideas. And if you don't have any of these in place, that's okay. One thing at a time. What we're talking about is possibility and opportunity and connection. What we're talking about here is building a relationship with these people, becoming somebody to them. That person that you're becoming to them is somebody they trust, that they go to for your expertise, right? They're going to you to learn more about the thing you've already helped them with. All of this, improved messaging, impact of your audience and connecting them to your business is what makes sales possible. All of this, this whole idea of repurposing your content is ultimately about connecting with the people that need what you offer, benefiting them, building trust, and ultimately having them buy from you. So the question becomes, should you repurpose your content? Oh gosh, I hope you understand that at this point, yes, you should, because it is worth it and it will help you grow your business. I do have a workshop for repurposing and you'll find it here if you're interested at all, but um, it really is about doing it in a way that is going to serve you, not take up all of your energy and your time. And so one of the things that I talk about during this workshop is how to do repurposing effectively and efficiently. I have systems that I use that I share and I talk about the processes that I have in place. And I don't do it in a do what I do kind of a format that's not my teaching style. I do it as an example of how it can look. I share best practices because your your job as a business owner, as your unique self, is to figure out what your best processes are, to repurpose your content in a way that is efficient and effective so that you do do it on repeat so that you become consistent at it so that your people find you over and over and over without you having to suck your energy dry to do that, right? Without you having to sell your soul to do that. This is about helping them find you on repeat. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you'll put them in the comments below and I will see you again very soon. Thanks so much.